All right, uh, so today we're going to discuss um, just kind of finding uh, more, uh, more of these answers using uh, actually the whole unit circle instead of just talking about the coordinates from uh, quadrant one, okay? So the first thing that's going to really help you is, is to remember all students take calculus. So A stands for quadrant one. Okay, and in quadrant one, what are our signs there for X and Y? Positive, positive. Students, S stands for quadrant two. Okay, in quadrant two, what are our signs there? X is negative, Y is positive. Take, KT for quadrant three. So in quadrant three, everything's negative. X and Y is negative, okay? Calculus, C quadrant four. And what are our signs there? Positive X, negative Y. All right. So it wants us to find all six trig ratios for uh, one of these angles. Okay. And so the first thing I have to think about is, is, and I want you to recall, remember, there's four things we need to know. We need to know our quadrantals. We need to know our 30 degree family, our 45 degree family, and our 60 degree family. So, by understanding the reference angle for each one of these, we can determine which family they are in. Okay? So, when you think about this first question, you say 120 degrees. Well, where is 120 degrees? Well, 120 degrees is in quadrant two. So, then the reference angle then for 120 degrees is based on my what based on the quadrants in is is to take 180 degrees minus 120 degrees that's our rule so therefore our reference angle is 60 degrees okay so we are dealing with a 60 degree family here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw that 60 degree that 30 that 30 60 90 triangle and label it based on what we learned on Tuesday about 30 60 degrees so we have 60 degrees we have 30. So recall, our unit circle, 30, 60, 90 degree triangle is going to be root 3 over 2. Opposite is 60. Opposite of 30 is 1 half. And then our radius is going to be 1. So my, quad, my coordinates then for my 30, 60, 90 degree triangle are going to be 1 half root 3 over 2. So now that I have my coordinates, and if I remember my rules, Okay, if I remember my rules, I can go ahead and I can label uh, all these values, configure all these values. Now, the only thing I forgot is, is recall now, we're in quadrant two. So make sure you put a negative sign in front of the X value there for your coordinates. All right? So, what is sine of 120 degrees? Well, remember, based on our rules, sine was equal to the Y value of our coordinates. So in this case, we're just going to write it as root 3 over 2. Okay. Remember, cosine is equal to the x value. So in this case, negative one half. Okay. Cosecant, we're just going to flip. Okay. So recall, we write it as two over root three. But again, can't have that root three in the denominator there. So when you rationalize it, you're going to be getting two root three over three. Secant of 120 degrees, we flip. Okay. You keep that negative sign, it comes with it, because that was originally what cosine was, was a negative one half. So when we flip it, we get a negative two. Okay? Tangent. Okay, recall. All right, recall tangent now is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so based on your 60 degrees, opposite root three over two over one half. Use your calculator, and when you use your calculator, you're going to end up getting a negative root 3, okay, because recall here, all right, we are in quadrant 2, so we had a positive y value over a negative x value, therefore you get a negative, okay, cotangent, we're going to flip, so we got a negative 1 over root 3, which when you rationalize gives you a negative root 3 over 3, okay, We've got 4 pi over 3. The first thing I want to do there is, is 1, I see, divided by 3. So I know this is another 60-degree family because, remember, what is 60 degrees? 
in radians, it's pi over 3. Okay, so wherever you have a 3 in the denominator, then that means that you are dealing with a 60 degree family. So what I want to do first though is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply it though by 180 over pi. Okay, and when I do that, I'm going to get 240 degrees. So if we're doing our rules, we're finding based off the reference angle, okay, what was my rule for quadrant three? This is quadrant three. Okay, I take that angle given to me and I subtract it by 180, which then gives me 60 degrees. So we're dealing with 60 degrees again. So again, recall what your coordinates are for 60 degrees. It's one half comma root three over two. But now look at, we're in quadrant three though. We're in quadrant three, so that means both the x and y coordinates are negative. Are negative, okay? So, based on our triangle right here, we can go ahead and we can find all six of our trig ratios. So again, sine is equal to the y value, so in this case just negative root three over two. Cosine is equal to the x value in the coordinate, so negative one half. Okay, cosecant, we're flipping. Still keep that negative sign, so negative two over root three, which when you rationalize will give you negative two root three over three. Secant, we flip, so negative two. Okay, and then now tangent. Tangent's a little bit different here because now tangent, again, remember, opposite over adjacent, okay? We are in quadrant three though, so both terms are negative. So when you get a negative divided by negative, you get a positive. So in this case, then you're just gonna get root three, okay? And then when we flip it, we get one over root three, which when we rationalize, we just get root three over three. So really guys, the only thing you have to worry about when you are not in quadrant one is, is you gotta worry about the signs, the signs change. That's the only difference today. It's the only difference. All right, so let's move on to 315 degrees. So the first thing I want to do is, is okay, what quadrant is that in? Okay, what quadrant is in? 315 degrees is in quadrant four. So let's go ahead and let's find our reference angle. So recall our reference angle rule for quadrant four is, is you take 360 degrees minus the angle given. So in this case, that's 45 degrees. So 45 degrees. So recall, what is our 45 degree family quadrant. It's root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Now, I have to determine though, okay, what, I mean, well, I don't have to determine, I already determined it. I'm in quadrant 4, right? So since I'm in quadrant 4, I need to make the y value negative. So when now you're finding these trig ratios and you have your coordinates, just remember your rules. Make sure your signs are correct. Okay, again, quadrant 4, positive x, negative y. So what is sine equal to? Well, sine is equal to the y value, so we'd say negative root 2 over 2. Cosine is equal to the x value, positive root 2 over 2. Okay, cosecant, negative 2 over root 2, I flipped it. So when I solve for that, though, that's just going to give me a negative root 2. Okay, same thing for secant, I'm flipping it because of cosine, it's the reciprocal cosine. When you rationalize it, you're just going to be left with root 2. Okay. Could have done my 45 45 as well, triangle, so that fits in the end circle. We'll call it just root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and then a hypotenuse of 1. Okay. And so tangent of 315 degrees. Okay. Well, the nice thing about tangent is, is that it's opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. So that means you're going to get now root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2, which then tells you what? That tangent's equal to 1. Okay, now, in this case, though, it's equal to a negative 1 because we've got one of the root 2 over 2's is negative because y is negative in quadrant 4. So you've got y over x, which is a negative 1. Okay, and then cotangent, you just flip, also a negative 1. So tangent and cotangent, really easy with our 45 families. Okay? 
Same thing here, it's a lot easier to do this in degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. And when I do that, I'm going to be left with 225 degrees. Okay, which falls in quadrant 3. So the next thing we need to do is let's find our reference angle. Well, our rules for our reference angle in quadrant 3 are to take the angle given, minus 180 degrees, and when you do that you're going to get a reference angle of 45 degrees. Again, our family for 45 degrees is root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. Now, the thing you need to ask yourself though is what quadrant we're in? We're not in quadrant 1 anymore. We are in quadrant 3. So those are both negative values in quadrant 3. So when we find sine of 5 pi over 4, we look at the y value and the coordinates, so we just get negative root 2 over 2. We look at the x value, negative root 2 over 2. Cosecant, we're flipping, so negative 2 over root 2, which then when you rationalize that, just becomes negative root 2. Same thing with secant, we're flipping cosine, that's 2 over, that's negative 2 over root 2, which when you rationalize, it's just going to give you negative root 2. Okay? Tangent, very simplistic in this case, remember tangent's opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. So in this case with 45, we have the same values. We got a negative root 2 over 2 divided by a negative root 2 over 2. And so that's just going to give you a positive 1. When you flip cotangent, same thing, positive 1. All right, 210 degrees, 210 degrees, look at that. Now, first things first is, is what quadrant does that fall in? falls in quadrant 3. Okay? Hence, why am I giving you a lot of answers in quadrant 3? Because that's probably the most difficult one to solve for the six trig ratios. So then my first step is, is finding my reference angle. So to find my reference angle, I'll take the angle given and I subtract it from 180 and I find out that it is 30 degrees. So we're dealing with our 30 degree family. Okay? So if you can't remember the exact coordinates for the 30 degree family, all you're doing is, is you're just flipping it from 60 degrees. So then my 30 degree family is just root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. But again, I'm in quadrant 3. I'm in quadrant 3. So negative, negative. Okay? If I can't remember my coordinates, then the best bet, guys, is just to go ahead and draw a 30, 60, 90 triangle that fits in the unit circle. So 30 degrees, 60 degrees. So opposite of 30 was 1 half. Opposite of 60 was root 3 over 2. And then our radius is 1, or our hypotenuse is 1. Okay? The only thing I need to remember is that when I'm dealing with the coordinates, i got to base it off what quadrant I'm in now, because I'm not in quadrant 1. So now that we have the coordinates and we remember our rules, we can go ahead and find our ratio. So sine again is equal to the y value. I know I sound like a broken record, but we need to get that down. We need to recall it. Okay? Cosine is equal to the x value. So what is cosine? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I did that right. So cosine in the x value, my coordinates is a negative root 3 over 2. Again, I'm in quadrant 3. x and y are negative. Cosecant, we're just flipping that. So when we flip one half, we keep the negative sign, we get a negative two. When we flip secant, we get a negative two over root three, which after you rationalize leaves you with a negative two root three over three. Okay? Back to a difficult tangent. Back to a difficult tangent. Okay, we have to do y over x. So negative one half divided by negative root three over two, only 45, and our quadrantals are very simple. So we're taking negative one half divided by negative root three over two. Okay, and so when you do that, okay, and I was just doing your calculator, you end up with one over root root three, which then gives you root three over three. Which again, why is my answer for tangent positive? Negative over a negative always gives you a positive. Negative y over negative x, positive. Okay, for cotangent, we're flipping tangent, so we got 3 over root 3, which when you rationalize, okay, just leaves you with a positive root 3. Okay, 
Last but not least, our last question here, 5 pi over 6. First thing you want to do is you want to multiply that by 180 over pi to get it in degrees. It's a lot easier to tell. Okay, quadrant, and then find reference angles. So we end up getting 150 degrees, which that is in quadrant 2. Okay. Our reference angle, then our rule is you take 180 minus 150, which equals 30 degrees. Again, recall the coordinates for 30 degrees. Okay, if you're not sure, again, draw your triangle. X is equal to 1 half. Yeah, I'm sorry. X is equal to root 3 over 2. That's our horizontal distance. Our vertical distance is equal to 1 half. Now, I'm in quadrant 2, so the only thing I'm making negative is X, is the X value. So once I have my coordinates and I know my rules, it's very easy to figure, find out my trig ratios here. So sine of 5 pi over 6, sine of 5 pi over 6, the y value, so 1 half. Cosine of 5 pi over 6, or the x value of the coordinate, negative root 3 over 2. Cosecant, all I'm doing is I'm flipping sine, so 2. Secant, all I'm doing is I'm flipping cosine, so negative 2 over root 3, which when you rationalize gives you negative 2 root 3 over 3. Okay? And then last but not least, tangent's the hardest. Again, y over x. y over x. So when we do that, okay, we divide y over x. We're left with a negative 1 over root 3, which when you rationalize gives you a negative root 3 over 3. Okay? Cotangent, we're flipping, so that gives me a negative 3 over root 3, which when you rationalize leaves you with a negative root 3. Okay? So, let's chill for a second there and understand, okay? What you need to know, if you know your reference angle, okay, then you can draw your special right triangle, which is either 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90. Okay? Once you draw those and you get your coordinates, then you just have to remember our rules that we discussed the last couple of days, okay? Sine is equal to y. Cosine is equal to x of the coordinates, on the coordinates, okay? Uh, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, just flip it. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, okay? Tangent, 210 degrees. Cosine, I mean, tangent, how do we find tangent? It's just y over x. We plug in our calculator. Cotangent, x over y or flip tangent. Okay? So that pretty much sums it up. That is our lesson for today. Uh, hope this helps, and uh, I will see you guys in class uh, tomorrow. All right. Thanks, guys.